with Happily Ever After Living, where I help you create your dream life in a body that you love while on a budget that you can afford. So if you're new here and that sounds like something that may be of interest to you, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you're a return of your what up, I miss you guys, I miss you guys. So in today's video, what I wanted to share with you guys was a Q&A session with our daughter as well as um, what I consider to be like a 24 hours of wellness weekend. So most of you guys know that we have a daughter that's in her first year of college and throughout high school, middle school, actually even elementary, she's always participated in school or club sports. So now that she's in college and she's no longer playing volleyball, she's just trying to figure out like, what does wellness or fitness, what does that now look like for her? Well, one thing that I love about this 100 pound weight loss journey is that this is not only benefiting me, but it's also benefiting my family. And now that I'm even more active, I'm having the opportunity to share lots of new experiences with them. So in today's video, i like to share with you guys what we did, um, just to give you a quick heads up. We went hiking, we did sunset yoga, ate some healthy, yummy foods. And I also posted on Instagram a few questions that you guys may have for her, and I'll also include those in this video as well. So it should be nice and fun, grab some tea or coffee. You know I got mine, and I can't wait to share with you guys. All right, so first, I drove down on Saturday. It's about a three hour drive, not too bad. So on Saturday, we went hiking in between two parks and this was so much fun. The views were so beautiful, but I think the best part of it was that we had no real agenda except to get steps in as well as just to see beautiful sights. So I'll share some of that with you guys here as well as a few of the questions and answers. All right guys, so we're just out hanging out on the trail. And one of the questions that came up in the Q&A is you guys wanted to know how Brooklyn manages her finances as a college student. So I just picked up the camera. I was like, hey, you know, we were talking about um, something else related to some budgeting stuff that we're doing at home, me and the hus. So I was like, oh yeah, that just reminded me of questions. People have questions. And one of the questions is, how do you manage your finances as a college student? Particularly a first year college student. So I'm gonna give her the, the camera. Um, I'm dark. <laughs> Wait, we gotta get from up under here. Oh, look at those iguanas. Mom, those are on campus. Those things are huge. Yeah, I told you, the dinosaurs. We just took a pause, guys, sorry. The lighting was bad, so we took a pause. All right, so right now we're debating, do we go in the fence and Luke take a chance of getting close into the fence? Or do we take the safe path? <laughs> okay, she wants to go. You guys, we're going. I mean, technically it doesn't say do not enter, so I guess Yes, I don't know. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you guys, we're not supposed to be in here. <laughs> we're not supposed to be in here. <laughs> she wouldn't listen to me. My <laughs> <laughs> pants are falling down. <laughs> listen. I am not one of those moms where I'm like, come on, Johnny, come on. No, Johnny better run. <laughs> Johnny better run and fight for himself. Oh, gosh. Okay, back on the safe path. Boring. <laughs> Boring, but safe. <laughs> um, okay, so how I do my budgeting, I get my money like every two weeks. So first, I'll do all my groceries because food is most important. I'll go hungry and I'm very picky, so I do that first. And then I'll go through if I need toiletries, like soaps, you know, that stuff. And then if I need anything for school, I normally really don't. They'll help me with that. And then after that, it's kind of my money, but I don't really like to go below $40. Like if I have $40 left of what they gave me, cut myself off, that's way too low. 
I prefer 50, 70, keep it there. And then wait around till next week. <laughs> and I just don't spend the money then. Do you do you roll the 40 or 50 dollars over into your emergency account or do you just keep it for the next time? I keep it. I know I probably should roll it. I don't. <laughs> Cause food goes up sometimes, you know? <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> All right, so next question is, how are you balancing everything as a first year college student? I guess everything means like, I don't know what, it, I don't know what everything means. I, I would assume studying and life, social and life. life. Yeah. Um, it's a give and take, I think. Well, in my opinion, I'm still kind of learning. Some days I'm hyper fixated on school other days I want to socialize a little bit more so I try and knock it on my school break with the syllabus or syllabi as much as I can and then the time I have left I'll socialize or just spend time with myself like me time used to being alone yeah <laughs> right. you ready for another question <laughs> sure okay so another question this is like literally no prep at all, guys. And remember, she's 18, okay? So, someone else had a question. They wanted to know, what is your plan for retirement? Um, <laughs> what is your retirement plan? Uh, I'm not going to lie. I haven't thought that far out in my... I mean, I hope to be retired by early 50s, latest. I was like, that's the latest because I'm gonna be so young when I get into like the work field. So I hope to save up enough and to be secure. So if I wanna work, it's still fun at that age. Here we can stop here. Or, or I don't even have to work, but I honestly haven't thought that in depth <laughs> on it. It's a good question. <laughs> so there you have it. But honestly though, by the time she graduates undergrad, here we can stop here, this is pretty. Okay, so by the time she graduates undergrad, she'll be, how old will you be? 19, 20? 19, 20. 19, 20. And then by the time she graduate, PA graduates school. PA school, like she'll 22, be like 22, 23, maybe. maybe 23. Latest. So technically, if she did the whole, you know, um, so the plan kind of is, okay, that was too bright. So the plan is she knows that we're helping to support her through undergraduate um, so that she can graduate debt free but then for PA school our current plan is that she'll take out student loans so she knows that she has the opportunity to come home for the first year or two if she wants to um, while she's working in her career path and to pay off her student loans so the goal would be to have her start investing in whether it be a Roth IRA 401k whatever as she's paying off her student loans and then we've talked about you want to tell them like you don't have an option with your first house plan when you buy your first home oh, <laughs> what do you have to do i'm gonna get a duplex and i live on one side and then i run out the other side yes so she already knows that's the plan fine with me i don't want to live with anyone <laughs> so first home purchase will be a duplex um, so in my mind, like I'm not, it's her life. She can do what she wants to do, but I don't see her working past 40. Like I don't see her working past 40 because she has to. Like if she loves her job, loves her career path, then absolutely continue. Um, but technically she could retire by 35. That's if she lived off of like 50% of her income, continue to grow her income, did something within entrepreneurship. Um, grow that real estate portfolio the world's yours baby <laughs> yeah but right now she's just trying to enjoy undergrad trying to graduate debt-free and what else stay healthy surviving life surviving life <laughs> and learning more about the world and herself I want to travel so 
and she wants to travel so so where do you want to go everywhere where do you want to go first mm, i kind of want to go to india Ooh. i want to learn about that culture i like it i like to be worldly because i feel like you can't make an opinion unless you're worldly that sounds kind of rude. that's true you need to know about different cultures before you start forming strong opinions about them. So that's good. All right, let's walk some more. All right, so next question. Are you dating? I already know the answer to this. Absolutely not. Why am I Wait. worried? Oh my gosh. I have never dated in my life. Um, guys this age don't, are, they don't think with their brains, so. No. <laughs> With their heads, but not <laughs> the brain. <laughs> um, but, like, we're not opposed to, she's not opposed to dating. She's just choosing not to at yeah. this time. And that's her decision that has nothing to do with me, my husband, that has nothing to do with us. That's on her. But please believe, mom is praying for the one. Like, not praying that he comes now, but since she was little, like I just, I always pray for um, our kids' future spouses because like they need to, if this is the person they're gonna spend their lives with, like I just, it, there's a lot to say, but this is someone that's gonna be a part of our family. Their family's gonna be our family. So we do pray for their spouses. Even though we've never met, maybe, I don't know, we may have never met them before. Um, they're somewhere out there. But we do, we pray for them and just pray that they love our kids and take care of them and mean well for them. I don't know. Thumbs up this video if any of you guys pray for your kids' spouses, even though they're nowhere like even in existence but you just do it or leave me a comment down below if you do that <laughs> all right we're trying to check check out and see how much of this volleyball vert we still have all right go for it no. oh <laughs> You okay? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't hurt, but it's bad. <laughs> On Saturday evening, we went to Target and we bought supplies to do facials and just to do some things to kind of like enjoy ourselves, do a little bit of self-care. And I would love to share that footage with you guys, but mama is getting older. Not old, but older. And I fell asleep kind of early. <laughs> So we'll be doing those things on our own. She has her supplies, I have mine. And whenever we find time, we'll be sure to do that and take care of those. So on Saturday night, we got sushi. So we had a nice, light, healthy dinner, which was really yummy. And we also bought salads and um, fruit just to have for that night and for the next morning. So that was a nice treat. All right, so the week before, I booked this sunrise yoga session for the two of us for Sunday morning. It was such a great idea. However, the temperatures continue to drop. Like all week long I'm watching and I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <sighs> Needless to say, we still went. We went, it was below 40 and windy because we were on the beach. So it was extremely cold. So are we really gonna do this? <laughs> You should have wore gloves. I don't get cold like that. No, you don't. So if you're cold, imagine how your mama feels. Oh my gosh. But I am so glad that we went. It was such a beautiful experience. You guys have heard me say on the channel that I see myself as this woman that does yoga and hikes. So that was really nice. It was a beautiful experience for me to try that this year. Um, just to move my body in ways that I don't typically move them, but I would like to do more of. And it was also nice too, just to watch the sunrise. It was so beautiful. It was gorgeous. I'll share you know, a lot of that film here with you guys. 
Also, it was nice too just to meet some new people, some new friends, and speaking of meeting new friends, you guys, these, they're crazy. They are so crazy. So after we did yoga, they had this brilliant idea. No, for them, it didn't happen after. They had already said that after yoga, they were gonna jump into the beach. Like they were gonna strip down and go get in the water. Like it was so cold, I couldn't believe it. Like my mind was blown, but I was so proud of them. Like I just felt so proud and I was able to experience their joy. I didn't get in, but don't worry. I was their biggest hype man. I'll include some of that footage here. <laughs> Alright guys, these are my new friends and they're going in the ocean. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Pedro. Oh Pam, you're not going? Oh, I'm not going. Oh my god, Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. Let me guys take off your shoes first. Lily is taking it all. Look, oh my gosh, this is insane. <laughs> go, Lydia, go! I'll be your hype girl. Go, Lydia! <laughs> oh my gosh. There is no way. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> But yeah, like they were so happy and they just really enjoyed it. And I was able to experience their joy from my hoodie and thermal leggings from the shoreline. <laughs> it was just a beautiful thing. It was such a great experience and I'm glad that we did it. Yeah, but it was just so nice. And you know, it just felt really good to be present in the moment. And I think that sometimes in life we have to slow down in order to speed back up again and that's what last weekend was for me um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video in the next videos a couple things that you guys can expect in the next few days um i need to do my weigh-in video i did weigh in on monday and i'll be sure to upload that video actually i'll upload it after this video so i'll post it the following day even though it's not like a weigh-in wednesday i still want to be consistent on the channel i'll upload that weigh-in tomorrow after that i'll also share with you guys a huge grocery haul i hope you guys enjoy that and then i'll also do my meal prep for the week and i hope you guys enjoyed this video where i help you create and build your dream life in a body that you love on a budget that you can afford and i'll see you in the next video bye